Hello, this is John. Thanks for joining me again for another tutorial on Archimatics. Today I'd like to show you how you can add your own custom shapes and objects to the Archimatics library. I updated my Unity today, so as you can see we now have a cool dark interface, but the window layout still remains the same. The way I like to keep it is to have the scene view in the top left corner along with the asset store and the animator window docked in tabs. On the right side I keep my game view as well as the Archimatics node editor. On the bottom I have the console and the Archimatics library as well as the animation window. For this tutorial make sure that you have the node editor as well as the Archimatics library visible. You can see the 3D library already has a number of objects you can use and if you switch to 2D, there are a number, number of shapes that you can use as well. We will create a custom shape as well as a custom object and add them to our libraries. Let's start by creating a custom shape. I'll pick a regular shape from the library. You can do that either on the left bar here or down in the library below. To make this a little bit different, I'm going to create a shape offsetter from the right side. Now add some thickness. I will also change the original shape to make it bigger. Okay, this will be my custom shape. To add this shape to your library, click the drop down menu down near the I button and select Save to Library. After you confirm, you will find the shape down in your 2D library. If I delete the shape now and I click the shape in the 2D library, it's now recreated. And if you click, if you expand the inputs, you will see that the original shape that was inputted into the shape is still there, and the whole shape is still parametric. Now let's extrude this shape to create a 3D object. I'll take the output shape and select Extrude Plan. In my controls, I will turn the back faces on. We might want to modify this shape in some way, perhaps even the shapes below. I will also add a material to this. If you're confused about how I'm doing any of these things, please see my previous videos in this playlist. There, that looks like a shape I might like to save. Again, next to the little I button, there is a drop down menu, and you can choose to save to library. Now if I switch to my 3D library, the object can be found there. It's here in the bottom left corner. If I delete my object, I can now click on the object in the library to recreate it. And if I expand my inputs, I will see all the shapes that go in it, and the whole object is still parametric. Now my object is called extrude underscore 2, which is not a very meaningful name. I may want to edit this. You can select the edit button in your library and scroll down to your object. There it is. Click the edit button and you can change your name here as well. 
I will call it corridor corridor A. You can also fill in other details such as the author, a description, tags, and documentation. If you don't want to have this item in the library anymore, you can select delete item. It will ask you to confirm, but if you do, the item will no longer be in your library. The same applies for the shapes. If you didn't like your custom shape anymore, you could select edit, scroll down to your shape, and click on edit. Here again you can change its name and other information and you can also delete the item. I hope this tutorial helps you configure and set up your Archimatics library to your liking. Next I will create a new playlist in which I will build a European style building using Archimatics and assets from Maya. I hope to see you there.